Guillaume travels through North America in his tiny mobile home, so he's pretty much of a local anywhere. And today he's with us uh, to share his advice on the perfect road trip to North America and Canada. Welcome, Guillaume. Take it away. Hi. Well, I mean, I think this is a tough question when you ask for like the perfect spots to go around the U.S. There's been so many places uh, that has been beautiful. And I will start with Canada, as you said. Nova Scotia was just absolutely amazing. Uh, it might have been, it's the first place where we're really connected with nature as you, that those pictures are from Nova Scotia. Um, and like we had to, you know, we, we had visited cities before, which were great, but then Nova Scotia was just so rugged and tough and beautiful and harsh and just very pretty. And it was a great place to visit. We saw a lot of Europeans out there actually, when we were visiting, it seems to be a popular place to go. It seems to be then. And are there any other nature spots that we shouldn't miss out on? The easy answer for that when it comes to like USA and Canada, it's just a system of national parks that they have. It's, it's a great, it's, they call it uh, America's best idea. Uh, and we were really surprised with the national parks in Florida. Um, the Everglades was just out of this world. And then in California, we went through Death Valley National Park, which you saw in the picture right there. That was just absolutely, it's a, you're on a different planet. It's like you're on Mars somewhere and it's so harsh and you're not supposed to be there. It's hot, it's rugged, uh, but it's just, you know, maximizing your time in any of those national parks would be a, a, good, uh, a good thing to do. Uh, and if we're looking to cities, what were the coolest cities that you visited during your journey? The, so the coolest cities, the obvious options, you know, you have to go to New York, you have to, or you have to, I guess, you, uh, you can visit LA, but we really actually enjoyed... Um, cities like Lafayette, Louisiana, where we got to hang out with the locals and we got to go crawfishing with them. We got to, you know, do some airboat tours. Um, and uh, that's, that was, yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's the life right there. Um, but also like we went through the Florida Keys and people go to Key West, which is like the tourist area to go. But when you go a little more north in the Keys, you're in Isle Morada, and that's great. It's like with the locals out there. Nash, uh, Asheville, sorry, Asheville, North Carolina is pretty amazing. It's like the Portland of the uh, East Coast. It's really lots of culture, great food, great beer, a good place to visit. Thank you so much for all of your insights and uh, have fun on, your, on the rest of your trip. And if you want to know more, uh, check out uh, tinyhousegiantjourney.com. Thank you very much.